About half of all approved therapeutics in medicine target membrane proteins. For most of them, we have absolutely no idea how they look. Determining the structure of these membrane proteins is key for future drug design, and Cube can now support their structural characterization using cryom. Hi, my name is Felipe Merino, and I'm responsible for Cube's cryom projects. I'm a structural biologist, and during the last eight years I have specialized in single particle cryom, through which I have determined dozens of protein structures. So, how does cryom work? To determine a structure, a protein sample is placed on a microscopy grid and captured within a very thin layer of vitrified ice in a so-called frozen hydrated state. Once the grids are vitrified, they are kept close to minus 190 degrees Celsius to ensure that the proteins stay in a near native environment. The grids are then imaged within an electron microscope equipped with a direct electron detector. It is the unprecedented quality of the images coming from these modern detectors that has driven the famous resolution revolution of cryom. Despite these, images of single proteins are still very noisy, but by averaging thousands of images of individual proteins, we can recover the high resolution details that have been buried under the noise. There are a few reasons why cryom is a technique of choice for membrane proteins. Stabilizing these proteins outside the membrane very often produce samples that simply cannot form crystals. So the most efficient way of stabilizing membrane proteins is using detergents, and most known structures have required them. The problem is that sometimes detergents can also remove lipids that are essential for stability and function. Membrane proteins can also be stabilized using nanodisks. Although this results in a more heterogeneous sample, cryom can still deal with that. What's more, using polymer-based nanodisks, proteins can be directly stabilized in their native lipids, all in one step to provide that real near-native environment. And at Kip Biotech, we offer the broadest stabilization portfolio for membrane proteins. Cryosample preparation is itself quite fast and requires a relatively small amount of sample. That's key for membrane proteins, which are often very unstable and hard to produce in large quantities. As we celebrate our 10th year anniversary, we have built a strong interdisciplinary team with extensive experience in membrane protein expression, solubilization, and structural characterization. Our mixed expertise means that we can directly produce, purify and vitrify solubilized membrane proteins all within our R&D site in Monheim, Germany. For our customers, that means that the sample can go directly from the purification column onto the grid, no intermediate steps of freezing or chipping, maximizing the chances of success. So, how would a Cryom project look at Cube? Well, that's really up to our customers' needs. For example, cryom screening can be included directly into our protein services work packages and done together with solubilization screening to quickly find the optimal conditions for structure determination. Maybe you know those in advance and a work package for structural determination is all that you need. Or perhaps the protein is already well characterized and we can concentrate then on determining the structure of its complex with small molecule targets. At Cube, we are service providers as well as manufacturers. That means that we can create bespoke tools to solve the problems that we might encounter along the way. In the end, the customer decides how much control they want to have over the project. Whether it's separated into individual work packages, or working towards a certain milestone, or even leaving everything in our hands, everything is possible. If you would like to learn more about protein research, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching.